What's going on guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the battery analyzer. It has multiple functions such as a battery quick charge function, a battery capacity detection, battery resistance detection, and a battery maximum output. This is a solid device to keep in any vape shop, especially for vape owners if you have any uh, customers that come in asking about their batteries not working properly, you can go ahead and use this device to go ahead and test it. This is what comes in the package. You receive that battery analyzer and a standard wall plug. Okay. So today we're going to be testing three batteries. One will be the AWT IMR 18650, 3000 milliamps and 40 amp output. We're also going to be testing the EFAST battery 18650. This one has 3000 milliamps, 35 amps, and a 3.7 volt. And the last one we're going to be testing is Green Imran. This one has a max of 30 amps and 3500 milliamps with a volt charge of 3.7. So let's go ahead and start with this one. To navigate through the battery analyzer, all you have to do is hit mode to navigate. Slide your battery in. Hold start to begin the quit charge function. This will charge your battery at 2 amps. The volts in the 18650 should read 4.2, which is located right here. But after a while, wear and tear in batteries, the number might decrease. So we're at a 98% charge, so that should be fine. And let's go ahead and switch over to max current. When you use max current, you're going to want to hit setup, and then you can adjust the volts. A solid number to keep it at is about 3.2. Let's go ahead. Once you hit 3.2, hit enter, hold start to begin, and this will drain your battery to 3.2 volts and show you how much output. Hit start to stop the beeping. So this battery is reading at 11 amps. This function will show you how many milliamps your battery really has. This one takes a while, so we'll do this one towards the end. Hit mode to go to internal resistance. This function basically tells you how good your battery is actually doing. Any number below 60 is relatively good. Any, num any number above it means your battery has internal resistance and it's not working properly. So get it, go ahead and hold start to begin. So this battery is reading at a 72. So that means this battery is done. It should no longer be used. Let's go ahead and test another battery. Now we're going to be using the EFEST 18650. Hold start to charge. This one's at a 92%, so we'll just go ahead and work with that. Again, this battery analyzer charges at 2 amps, so it should charge relatively quickly. Go ahead and hit mode to see the max current. It's already, it still stays set at 3.2. So once you set it, you should be good. Hold start. <phone rings> 11 amps output. Capacity, we'll go ahead and skip that one since it takes a while. Now we'll check out the internal resistance. 72. This battery also shows a 72, which means that it has a lot of internal resistance, which means it probably shouldn't be used. Let's start on this one, the IMR. So now we're going to do the capacity test. We're going to use this AWT IMR. We're going to hit start, and we're going to come back when it's finished. And you hit start to stop the beeping. So this is just a rough estimate. It's not always going to be 100% accurate. Like this one read about 2200 milliamps and this battery reads 3000. So you know it's not going to give you the best It's not going to give you the best reading, but it is something to go off of. It does have a quick charge function that works really good. These readings are one are not 100% accurate, but it does give you some some information on where your battery is at in life and that's all we're really looking for is just safety in the consumer market 
Hopefully you guys found this video informative and helpful. Tune in next time for more videos.